everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new here do subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon down there so that you never miss out any of my uploads in today's lesson we're gonna talk about nouns what are nouns before moving ahead on nouns i want to ask you a question see all the things from which you are surrounded and try to name them whether it's your mother your pet dog a tree or a bench or anything around you how could you name them ever thought everything has its own name right with a specific or a non-specific name specific names are those that you use for a particular person and non-specific names are those that you use for anything or everything of the same kind right for example a tree we use tree word for every tree right because they are of the same kind but when it comes to your name it's a specific name because we use it just to name you so nouns can be of both types specific and non-specific specific ones are called proper nouns and non-specific ones are called common nouns now one more thing or one more question for you try to name five proper nouns around you and five common nouns around you it will be very easy to name because anything that you see around you has a name and it definitely will be of one of these kinds either it will be a proper or a common now regardlessly that whether it can be touched or see it's a noun the thought that comes to your mind is also a noun right or anything that you see around you a pet dog it's still a noun so it can be living non-living or even something that you can just feel not touch now i give you a work right to do to name five common nouns and five proper nouns could you name them it's very easy right the one which are used specifically for a specific person are called proper nouns and the one which are used combinedly for anything or everything of the same kind are common nouns this much is clear to you a noun can name everything nouns are basically the ones which name everything whether it's me or you your mother a thing that we can only see touch or just everything is a noun now now let's frame few sentences now let's come on the person can it name a person of course it can name a person you are a person and you have your own specific name so it can name a person for example rita is playing here rita is a noun it's very clear that rita is a noun but is it a proper or a common noun it's a proper noun because we are using a word rita for a specific person not for everything or everyone just for a single girl right but if i say that girls are playing it will be a specific or a non specific noun a common noun means a non specific noun why because for every girl we are not noting or not just we are not specific with what girl with which girl but yeah girls we are not specific with it we are just saying that girls are playing okay which one we don't know so a name which we use for anything or everything of the same kind now it can name a person and there are two types specific and non specific now can it name a place of course it can name a place a park it's a place and here the park like for example i'm going to park here park is a non specific why a non specific you tell me in the comment section now i'll tell you why park is non specific because we are not being specific with which park right but if i say that i'm going to nehru stadium here it's a specific right why because i'm being specific with where i'm going so ha that's how specific and non specific works now it can name a person a place and also a thing for example um my piggy bank is empty so here piggy bank the word piggy bank is non specific right why non specific because we are being piggy bank we don't know which one right though we know it's ours but it's not ha it do not has 
it does not has its own name it can have because even we name things right that this has its that it's the it will be called this or it will call that now let's move ahead on our next topic now it can name a person a place or a thing right it can it can even be something that you can just feel for example the thought that comes to your mind like for example i'm happy now where what is my state i'm happy so here the word happy is also a noun regardlessly it can be regardlessly that whether it can be touched or not anything or everything is a noun now i'm pretty sure that the concept of noun must be clear to you nouns is something that names everything nouns are basically the naming words everything that you see around you has a name and those names are just nouns so everything on this planet or everything in this universe i should say infinite universe has a name and all those names are nouns so this was all what are nouns and mark that without a noun a sentence can't be framed the go there now there is a noun over here so everything has a name and that name is basically the noun regardlessly it can be just your feel everything as i just said my state i'm happy it's noun everything that you see around you has a name and that's a noun now that was all for the concept of noun and if you like my video do comment and tell me that what all topics you want me to just explain to you and also hit the like button see you in the next video